Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this the day the video goes up, happy Christmas. If you don't celebrate, I hope you are having a wonderful winter holiday, um, holiday season, or just plain winter. Um, today we are doing one of the last days of Planmas. I'm doing extended Planmas, so it will keep going for the next couple of days. But today we are doing a big sticker haul. I'm going to insert a couple of clips um, just because I have some things earlier than others, but let's get into it. Everything will be timestamped down below. Let's look at the stickers. The first shop I have here is Papershire, stationery, papershire.com. Um, and I just got a bunch of her Christmas stuff and some food, and I'm so excited. I did get these before Christmas, um, so I will be using them as spreads that you would have seen already. But yeah, I'm super excited. Let's go through them. First is the All Orders Freebie, so you have a bunch of um, like cool little Christmas notes, as well as some food flat lays, some shelves, and some little sort of holly dividers. Then I have the £10 freebie. Now I tend to do a bigger lot of shopping when I shop from Paper Shire so you get some more of the freebies. But for £10 I got these little bow dividers like gift wrap dividers, a whole bunch of um, decorative dividers and some more of those notes. So you could use this like as a half box. Then I got the £20 freebie with a whole bunch of coffees, all sorts of different coffees and some macarons. So adorable, you see I got some of this already separately. Um, this is really cool if you don't buy everything from a release because all of our freebies have a range of those. Because So I didn't buy like the dividers or anything, but now I have some to use. So I got some more dividers, some really cute little Christmas jars, which I got a sheet of too and I'll tell you about that. Some stacked presents and some little presents or care packages. And then I got the £40 freebie. I didn't think I spent £40, but <laughs> who knows? <laughs> we got um, like the desktop, laptop, some more shelf, like kitchen shelf, got some more dividers, so those sort of things. So really cute lot of Christmas freebies. So the first thing I got here were the festive hot drinks. So you have like a whole load of coffees here. Some really fun um, red ones and some more neutral ones. I just thought these would be really cute just for general Christmassy coffees. You know, I always end up having to buy them. And I like how they're actually a bit smaller than usual, I feel. Um, so they're a really good size to put in a quarter label. I got some festive cupcakes because why not? I love cakes and Christmas cakes. I think they're so cute. These are very traditional um, colors. Then I have some festive jars. And now what I thought of this um, was there's quite a lot which are more, were more snowy or pink. And I thought that'd be great to use like um, just for indicating like snowy cold weather. Like it snowed. Um, where I live in Finland, it snows a lot so in Christmas and winter time. So I thought I could use these through um, January as well, especially the snowy ones. Otherwise, I just thought they were really cute for marking anything. Then I have the festive drink machines. I don't have a drink machine like this. I use like a percolator with a pot and I make like big batches of coffee. Um, I'm kind of not into the capsule coffee anymore. It's not that great on the environment, uh, using all those capsules up. So I've stopped using those. Um, but I thought these are really, really cute and they're a good size. And I like the colors as well. So I just wanted to have these on hand and be more like when I'm making my big batches of coffee. Um, then I got the festive gifts. I just thought those were really cute. And she said you could also use these for opening advents. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So you have 10 of those. And there's 11, 12 advents usually. But you, know, you could like mix them up. But I thought they were really cute and just sort of more homey. So pick those up. Um, and then these are not Christmas is anymore. I don't think was that the uh, I got some Christmas at the back. So let me just stay with the Christmassy goodness. All right. So I also picked up these Christmas couple two. I got luck with pink hair and me with brown. 
down and I just thought that was so adorable. I just really love this one where she's kissing her partner. I just think it's so cute and wholesome. So I picked those up and then I picked up the festive banners, which there was some in the freebies, but I really liked, you know, like the icy one. I really, those ones called to me, but I thought I could like spruce them around. I'll see how I use them. I don't really use a lot of banners, um, but thinking maybe I should rather than just inserting weird stuff into my plants. <laughs> Especially those, you know, holiday days where you don't really do much. So yeah, I picked up the festive banners. And then I picked up some past releases. So she did do like a Disney magical release. So I picked up the Polaroids. I thought that could be fun for just for filming in general as well. I really love the one with the Polaroids sticking out. I have the magical food because I didn't really have any Disney food stuff and I'm planning to go to Disneyland Paris next year. So um, yeah, so I wanted those for that. <laughs> Or also just using while using Disney spreads. I have the magical coffee. Once again, not about coffee coffee, but yeah, I thought those are really cute. Oh, I do have more Christmas in here. Whatever. <laughs> These are the ginger cookies or gingerbread. Nice and neutral. Gingerbread's pretty big here in Finland um, at Christmas time. So I've already eaten a load of gingerbread and chocolate with gingerbread in it and just endless gingerbread. So <laughs> I got those. I got the coffee and toast because for breakfast I've been loving um, just buttered toast and I have iced coffee with it but I thought this would be really cute as well. This is pretty much what I have for breakfast. Uh, and then I have porridge which is a, like the number one breakfast in Finland and I want to get do some porridge in this cold season and I thought this was a really cute version. I got some stews, I love making stews and soups. Um, over uh, the winter period, so I picked those up. We got a, a variety here. I also got some curries because I didn't have any like good curry stickers anymore, so I picked this one up because it's fairly soft and neutral and would go with a lot of spreads. I picked up the berry waffles, well, because I love waffles and these are really, really pretty. And then lastly, another Christmas one I got Christmas mail. And uh, these are probably too big in most of the circumstances, but I thought they were really pretty. And yeah, really cute. So I picked those up. Those, and that is everything I picked up from Paper Shire. Next order I have here is um, actually more of a Halloween order from Fox and Cactus. Um, there was a postal strike for a couple of weeks, so this took a while to get to me. Otherwise, it probably would have been in the previous... Um, order, uh, but I got a Christmassy card anyway, which is 100% that Grinch, and I love it, so cute. But I got the October order, so you can see how far away I ordered this. It was just sort of, I'm pretty sure it got where I live in Olu, like, um, the day of the strike starting, so <laughs> it's super delayed. But a really cute October order, and I just picked up two of these limited time sheets of the um, Halloween burger meal. I just thought those so cute. I love them and they're super neutral. And yeah, I'm gonna actually use them like outside of Halloween. Um, more like spreads with more orangey or peachy colors. Uh, yeah, because I love them. But otherwise, perfect for Halloween. And I also picked up a pin. Let me open that. So this is a pin that came out around um, Halloween, October. It's this cute little Kiki's delivery service pin. How adorable. It's pretty big, which I do like. Oh, hi, Heidi. <laughs> She's uh, buttoned in. But yeah, I thought it was adorable. Heidi. <laughs> Look, shiny. Shiny. She likes pins. <laughs> She's having a look. Oh, she likes it. Just rubbing a head on it. Well, you know, this is the Christmas. This is what you want for Christmas, right? Your cat joining in. But yeah, so. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay, Heidi. Everyone's seen you. <laughs> ah, her big tail. But yeah, so I got the adorable Kiki. And it's just got two um, things on it because it is fairly big. So it should be nice and secure. But yes. <laughs> That's all I got for this section of the haul. Heidi's gonna lie down. 
On the pin. There we go. Oh, do you want to show everyone your beautiful face? Here's my beautiful cat. Happy Christmas! Okay, <laughs> we'll continue on with the whole. I also have here my Fox and Cactus Black Friday order. So we got this little freebie for Black Friday. I think she's released all these sheets now. Um, stickers, and we have the November one as well. Really cute. Oh, I got the little vinyl die cut sticker of the little planner stack and the cat. And we've got some um, journaling cards here. We have the Black Friday one with Treat Yourself and My Strange Addiction. And I also got a um, holiday card for being that I purchased from Fox and Cactus for years now. And f so a lot of her customers who purchase a lot or are just around a lot or she knows, she will send a Christmas card. So really, really cute. And she just has a little message here where she wrote my name. You could pause that and read it if you want to. But yes, adorable. Oh, look at the little cat. The cat sketch she put in. Adorable. It's little Heidi. Ah, now I want to stick to this. Um, anyway, <laughs> so, so cute. Let's get into what I ordered. It's a bit harder to buy Fox and Cactus because um, I, it is nicer to keep under customs. <laughs> Um, but if I want more, I, I will get more and just pay the customs, but I picked up a lot of cats in this order. I picked up the little happy, super happy kitties. We got the scaredy cat, ah, uh, cats. That's freaking out. Reminds me of my cat, Jemima. I got the grumpy, sort of side eye kind of cat. I have the super duper tired cat. That's definitely, be, that's definitely me today. I had to pick up a sheet of the cat disappearing into the bushes because I, I freaking love that Homer meme from The Simpsons. <laughs> it's just too funny. I can't believe she drew it. It's hilarious. And then to mark playing Pokemon, I picked up these little evolutions. Really cute. I also picked up Apple, the Apple, <laughs> the Animal Crossing stickers to mark when Animal Crossing comes out next year in March. And I picked up some of the black color switches. They're really good size and very neutral because I've been playing the switch a bit. But yeah, that was my Fox and Cactus Black Friday order. So, so happy. They're so pretty. Yes. Next, I have a, I have three orders from Once More With Love here, including, well, these are all three November orders. Um... Yeah, so my Black Friday stuff will be coming in next month and I'll have a whole Black Friday haul because I did do some Black Friday shopping once more with love, but I did get this thick stack today. It got a bit delayed in our postal strikes, but yeah, tons of once more with love for this haul. I have two different um, journaling cards. One of them also had the queen one, so I, you know, don't, don't need to show you both of them. And then we have this one, Creativity's Contagious Pass It On, which I love. And I think I'm going to put that up on my corkboard, my pin board by my desk soon. So I'm going to keep that. I love it. I have this little die cut. This is number one fan. So adorable. I love it. Definitely going to put that somewhere. And then here are some freebies that I have before we get into my stack. We have two of the November freebies. So we have a little elephant um, onesie, uh, a munchkin with pie. You got some McDonald's here, which I did buy that sheet, like hugging a little kid, and also sort of like a party celebration. So cute. And then this was the four year anniversary. Thank you for four years, which the number one fan die cut was from. And look out, these are so cute. I don't think I've seen this one in her shop yet. Oh, and the, I think, st no, Stitch hasn't come out yet, so I need a sheet of that for sure, because Stitch is my favorite. Um, and then I just got three of the holiday um, foil freebies with SPC. So adorable, I'm loving the, just the pixie sparkly. Um, Foils. So those are my freebies. So let's get into this stack. We'll go through the mini sheets first. So she does do these mini sheets now and they're like a bit more than half. But it's really great because you get a bunch of doodles with them. So we got sandwiches, which probably mark more like 
Well, I had a sandwich for dinner tonight, but, you know, Subway and stuff. Although it's not a sub, it's a sandwich, but, you know. I got bagels, because I love bagels. I got salad. <laughs> yeah, because I totally eat lots of salad. I haven't at the moment, but I've been having plenty of vegetables, honestly. <laughs> I swear. Um, and then we have pancakes. So cute. Look at these little pizzas. Her food doodles are like perfect. Like the perfect size, the perfect amount of detail. I love them. We got tacos, because you know I have tacos all the time. We have burgers, my favorite food. We have chicken nuggets. Ugh, so cute. I do love some nuggets. We got donuts, um, which is especially popular here. I have a lot in Finland because of Arnold's and stuff. Um, we have burritos, which I have a less of here in Finland. Um, there's nothing like Chipotle like, which we did have in Australia, which was cool with sombreros. But sadly, nothing like that here, but maybe in the future. Um, then we have chocolate bars, because I'm obsessed with phase of chocolate, and these are so cute. I just love the aesthetic of chocolate bars. I don't know. Then we have hot dogs. We have takeout boxes. We have pasta. We have dumplings. I thought this would be good also to mark because we have you know gyoza and Korean dumplings and Chinese dumplings, but we also get these Russian dumplings which are really delicious and we have them with like sour cream and chili. Delish. So I think that could work for any dumpling really. We have pies because I love pie. And then I actually, she asked if anyone wants any requests on a post, and I requested white iPads and mug delivered. She came through for me. So I bought five, and then in my Black Friday order, I bought two more sheets because these are the perfect iPads. I am so, 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 so happy. I love them. So. Expect to see them pretty much every spread from now on, and I'm probably gonna have to go buy a few more of these because I love them. <laughs> so I already used one of these. Oops. Um, this is the little mixed elf uh, munchkin sheet, and I used the little buddy to mark um, watching elf in a spread you would have seen. Um, and then I got the holiday writing, the holiday card writing, which I think you can do with other stuff, but. I did do some postcards this year. Then I got the ugly holiday sweaters and I am actually wearing a PlayStation holiday jumper. You couldn't really tell, it's because I'm so zoomed in so you can't enjoy my festive jumper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so I got one of those. Uh, then I got Baby It's Cold Outside, just a little snuggly munchkin couple. And then a very similar one, holiday movie time which is so adorable. So yeah, that was the mini sheets. And yes, this is three orders, just to remind you. <laughs> I'm not that crazy. Oh, well, I am, and I don't mind. <laughs> then I got the panda tied dark eye circles. I love the one with the cat asleep on its head and just being a zombie. I totally feel that. Although I don't really get panda eyes, but um, I do feel that kind of level of tightness. <laughs> Then I got the Grinchkin 2.0, so obviously she redid her Grinch um, set, and so adorable, I love the Grinch. Then Kiss My Butt, which I didn't realize that I had bought this, so I have it in my Black Friday order as well, but you can't have too many Kiss My Butts. <laughs> then I got the ha Holiday Happy Mail, just so, so adorable, all the one writing the Happy Mail and just um, receiving it. Then I got the couch cuddles. I love it. We'll snuggle up together. I got the Holiday Deco 3.0 because I've already used quite a lot of the other sheet that I had. And I do love them just to have, like, generally to mark things. And then I got Holidays with You because I thought it was so cute. And I just mark that with any time I'm doing stuff with luck. So that was my Once More With Love order. I just... So glad Marg is doing more um, orders and hopefully she can make everything a lot easier for herself in the future. But yeah, I love Once More With Love. I have an order in here from Once More With Love and this is my Black Friday order. We have the Creativity is Contagious journaling card. 
And I didn't realize we'd be getting some steel seal stickers from Wonton in a Million. Really, really cute. We also got the the holiday freebie from the SBC collab. Really pretty. This little die cut of oops, I bought too much. I was pretty good at Black Friday, honestly, but I pretty much have all one small with love sheets already. So you know how it is. <laughs> so you have the November freebie here. Really cute, and the Black Friday freebie. Adorable. I think she's already released all of these um, after Black Friday, so we've already got those sheets coming. But we have some food, doodles, we have eggs. I think I was just picking up stuff that I wanted doubles or I haven't had a chance to pick up yet. I've got some more pasta, some more dumplings, and I got some more of these iPads because they're my favorite now. And then I finally picked up the podcast sheet, mostly for the voiceover kind of girls. So I can do voiceovers for my videos. Though I've listened to a couple of podcasts. I listened to the Chernobyl one. And then I picked up Craig Mason's other podcast for a bit about screenwriting. I don't know anything about screenwriting, but there you go. Um, I got more of these Kiss My Butt ones because I forgot that I had already bought them. So yeah, it's more Kiss My Butt. Okay, there were two new ones that I picked up. This was Cracked Under Pressure, which is just me constantly with my PhD. I could just put it on every day. And then I picked up the tattoo ones. I've been looking at tattooists. There's one in another city I'm interested in. I don't know. But also Luck has been getting tattoos, so I thought I'd just have it just in case, because you never know. So that was my little Black Friday Once More with Love order. I picked up one little thing from Erin Condren. It is this interchangeable cover. As it says, it says here in this little sticker, which don't worry, it's like those ones that they put screen protectors with. I love those kind of stickers, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I got the sweater pattern and I got it in... Oh, what colors? Let me have a look at what colors I got this in. Sorry, I don't even know. It doesn't even say on the order history. It's just... I picked a light blue and a dark sort of teal color, as you can see here. But yes, I got it without a name. I just thought it was a really cute little sweater pattern for winter. So put on my planner in January. So cute. So that is the little um, cover that I got from Erin Condren. Now we come to that time in the hall where we just go through mounds and mounds of Skrill Prince Co. I've actually been pretty good at spending this past month, so it's not too much. Not as much as previously. So let's go through it. What I usually do is go through the freebies, the foil, extras, and then all the kits. And then we have the December mystery at the end. So let's get straight into it. So out of all my orders, the only journaling card I got was this New Year's one. It's cute, but I already have it, so. But um, those are the ones that are coming out at the moment. I don't know if it's changed yet, but. And I got three of these holiday ones with the munchkins in red, um, hollow, and gold. So pretty. And then I got two of Kirsten's um, pro uh, freebies if you put in Kirsten 10 for you know, it's 10, is it 10% off 15 plus something like that um, but this is a really cute silver one and you have like a um, single stroke box which I love these and some icons and text super cute so those are my freebies I've only got one foil item this time. You can see, look how well I've been behaving. Uh, <laughs> um, but I got the little mini vacation scripts. She said these were like too small, so she was getting a bigger version in. But I kind of like having them a bit small because when I'm doing vacation stuff, I like to have room for all the other stuff that goes around it. So I really like this size. Um, it's pretty small as you can see, but I really like it. So you have a little countdown to the vacation, or as Australians call it, holiday. Um, but I don't mind calling it vacation either. Um, I probably won't be picking up a rental car because I can't drive. <laughs> we got book flight, buy souvenirs, check-in, travel day, which will be really useful. Book hotel, um, check out, pack, unpack. So yeah, I got these in all four foil colors. As you can see here. Really pretty. I just, I love the script artist. 
And then as an extra, I picked up the next quarter of um, the kit organizing stickers. So basically, you put them in your storage. I got them here. Um, see here? So this is the kit I'm going to use in March. Um, and each day, and it's really useful. See, look, I'm out of them here. I think this is... This is my last one, so this is the next set, and she did change them up, as you can see. I really like the new font and everything. It's still marble. But yeah, I like the new look, and I'm looking forward to filling up more of my kits as I go plan them. So now I can go and do that in my sticker album. And they come off pretty easily, actually, and um, if you don't like any leftovers, then you can just use undo. But yeah, I really like these, and they have a thing for monthlies as well, so that will be super useful going forward. Um, oh, oh wait, I do have other foil. I have two wiggle sets here. And they're fairly similar. Um, this is a leftover wiggle from the November Mystery, and this is just a um, sparkly hollow... Uh, the twinkle version so I'll just quickly open these up for you guys and show you if you already seen my hauls you would have seen both of these already so this is the I just picked up two of each um, I've been trying to collect up some more sparkly hollow just to have uh, in my collection because I really really love the way it looks and it really pops versus traditional hollow as you can probably see versus this script I mean this is still beautiful um, but it doesn't, see how it pops so much more? Yeah. So I'm really happy to have more of this in my collection. I think this came out with June Mystery, May Mystery. Yeah, so um, we have the uh, corners, and I should have two corners in here, yeah. Sorry, I haven't actually split these very well. I got, we got corners in this version, date numbers and icons. We have twinkle, um, glitter header covers, we have um, the twinkle full boxes, I think that's it for those, and then we have this um, sort of random selection of deco and icons, I love the mini deco, and then we have the bottom washi which has the um, uh, solid bows which are my favorite, and also some um, confetti twinkles as well, make sure they're up close. Even though I think I've hauled this style before with the mystery kit. And then this is November mystery. Um, and this is actually a mix of normal hollow and pixie hollow, which you would have seen uh, last month's haul, I'm pretty sure. But I got, you know, she released them, so I got two more sets just to have them. So I have these bows, um, the uh, flag overlays. We have the glitter headers, and you can, you can see, like, it gives us so much more dimension having both types of hollow in there. You have some bow head overlays, you have some full boxes, and you can really see it here on the bottom washi how amazing that um, combination is. And then I have a second. So plenty of sparkly hollow this go around. And I'm sure plenty more to come because I'm pretty sure both Andre and I and everyone is obsessed with the sparkly foils. So that's the foil wiggles that I picked up. And now we're going to go through the kits and the last one will be the December Mystery. So I just got them all out of the cello bags ready to haul and this might be shocking but I've only drawn one of these kits. I know guys, anyway, I'm also shocked what's happened, but anyway, so first I picked up the uh, Reflection Mulan inspired kit, I love Mulan, um, probably, I think it has to be my third favorite prince, fourth favorite prince, no, third favorite princess, it's um, Aladdin, Jasmine, then Pocahontas, then Mulan, then the Little Mermaid, that's my, and then fifth is Cinderella. So that's my top five. Um, <laughs> and she's done all of those princesses, so yay. Uh, we've got the little munchkin freebie. This is an older format, as you'll see by the font and everything. But I got the 15 millimeter strip. I love these colors. I know they're really different. And I think uh, I got the glitter headers. But here we go with the beautiful Milan inspired uh, boxes. And I think this is actually would be really good as like a um, like 
a summer to winter transition, so uh, a summer to autumn. So I might do this very late summer when um, it's already starting to get cold. Yeah, I think that'd be really nice. Because you still have some of the cherry blossoms here. Oh, this could be a good transition as well from winter to spring because of the cherry blossoms. I have to double check. I don't know if I have room for it. Otherwise, it'll be the end of summer, I think. But I think it's gorgeous. I know the film is coming out, the live action, but uh, I may be missing out, but I'm not interested in those live action remakes. I love animation because I love animation. <laughs> I am an art fan. You can see this is a very old version, but she gets kits made ahead of time. Um, just to make it easier for herself, which is always good. But, yeah. Yeah, I prefer the animation because I love drawings and art. And uh, the music is... I've recently... I haven't watched the Aladdin remake and you think, oh, it's my favorite, so you think I'd watch it, but I, list, I heard some of the music the other day, and I was like, hmm, that's really put me off when I watched the Beauty and the Beast one, is that uh, all the music was different, like, of course they're going to make it differently, but for my brain that's been watching these films for over 20 years, it just sounded so wrong to me, I don't know. So, I'm just going to stick with the animated films, but this is gorgeous, it's reflection. Then the kit that I drew is a love potion, and uh, I love it. Uh, I'll just show you the extras that I got first. I didn't pick up the, I got the labels and the glitter headers, but I didn't get the 15 millimeter washi, and I think it's because I want, I like the full. I think it's because I like the full bottom washi. Hmm. I think I was gonna plan on doing some sort of bottom washi overlay with it, but anyway. And then we got the little munchkin freebie with this one because it is a newer format, the newest format. But yeah, so this is my uh, Valentine's set for this year that I released in the shop. So other shops do have this art. And yeah, it was like a love witch, white witch kind of idea where you got a little witchy um, shop front where you could buy all the goodies but also buy like love spells and... I actually looked up like ingredients for love spells that people do in modern witchcraft. So you got like a um, a spell book there, and then you have like the book and rose quartz, lavender, a little love letter, um, rose incense, so um, roses. So I kind of put everything together, and you got this little magical potion with the um, glittery uh, smoke there. And the crystal ball, I just thought it was so cute. Yeah, I was really, 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 really happy with this set. I put a lot of effort into it, and I'm so glad it turned out so well. And I really, like, went all out with the florals in this. I just, I'm so excited to use this in my planner. I love it. And I love the way Andrea put it together. Um, just a bit more simple and really, like, you know, just the sprinkles of gold and the pink. I love it. I love it. Um, so you have like the colors here with the sort of cream and the maroon and then the pinks. So it's still pretty a uh, Valentine's Day in my opinion, although you could use this anytime. It would also be a great spring kit. And then you have like these, I thought these um, photos of these really pretty um, heart-shaped mugs with keys as the handle. And I'm like, I have to draw them. They are gorgeous. Love how they're in a box. Ah, uh, it's all so cool. I never get tired of seeing my stuff as stickers, honestly, <laughs> I love it. And you could buy a little couple add-on of this girl couple, which I intended as lesbians, but you could also, um, well, a gay couple, but you could also have them as, uh, you know, girlfriends, um, friends. <laughs> so I thought that was, like, a good selection there. So you could also have as a Galentine's as well, like a single girl. It could be many things. But yeah, I love this bottom washi. I'm glad she used this one. I just think it's really fun and I love the glittery stars. <sighs> I just love it. So I can't wait to put this in my planner. It's going to be so pretty. I'm going to use all the sparkly, um, well not sparkly, this is gold. So I'm going to use all of the like star shapes and things. I think that'll be really fun. So that was Love Potion. And then I have another um, 
I have another Valentine's Day kit here. I think it was a mini kit exclusive. I have a mini kit here, so I, I assume as such. I don't usually buy mini kits because they're just not enough for me. We have the Munchkin freebie. We have the 15 millimeter thick glitter headers. I really love these colors, and of course the label box add-on. Um, but yeah, so I thought this art was really cute and bright and fun, and I do love a Galentine's theme. I thought this one was really, really cute. I love the fries before guys and boy pie. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was adorable, and there hasn't been a lot of other Valentine's Day releases, so I decided to pick this one up, and if um, something else comes out before February, well then I can use a different, um, I can use this in my PP weeks or something. Um, yeah, I just thought it was really beautiful and bright, and I do like the whole pink and blue going on. And I love this sort of like, the little hearts down there, really cute. Um, so that was uh, Thank You Next, it's a Valentine's Day set. Just something different to break up my more um, traditional kind of Valentine's Day sets and have something a bit more bright in the month. And now we have the December Mystery. I would assume you want to watch it. Um, I doubt anyone else is waiting for it because I probably am the last person to get them most of the time. So here is December. Let's open it up. I do subscribe to the Ultimate so I get all of the goodies, the freebies. So let's separate in what you get added. I think that's it. Alright, so go through the kit. This month it is a really adorable um, movie going uh, kit. And I think it's so cute. And I saw someone, oh, who was it? I can't remember, but they said this would be a really cute Valentine's Day set as well. So I might actually use this instead of Galentine's. And just like force luck to go to the movies with me? Maybe. I think that could be fun. Uh, sadly, none of my gal pals are here in Finland, so that would be kind of sad to use it actually now that I'm thinking about it. So I think I am going to use this in February instead. You got plenty of pinks and reds, you got the purple there. Uh, but the freebie this time is this cute little toolbox. She's so cute with her popcorn and Twizzlers. Uh, yeah, so I, I love this theme and I love the pattern in the background and Andre said it was like theater carpets and probably also like bus seats as well like um, They use these crazy patterns so you don't see any like stains or stuff like that I mean one of these sets that I am already using in Valentine's and you know, let's make this whole longer So why not? <laughs> Who cares? It's pretty short we have this one, which I'm using on Valentine's week, Netflix and Chill. They're kind of similar. This is like a darker color set, I think. You can see the purple, pink, and red, so I might have to try and separate it from that one. Um, and this is my other Valentine's Day, if you didn't know. I drew both of them, so it'll be good to break my art up, because I've drawn nearly all of them in my plan, oh my gosh! Oh well, um, <laughs> but yeah, so we'll have to think about that. I might try and separate those a bit more, but it is super pretty. And you have the romantic movie here. It's so cute. Yeah, I love it. I think I like it more than last year's December Mystery, which was that pink planner girl one. I don't know, I like this one more. I just, it speaks to me more, you know. So that is the ultimate kit which you usually get for $29.95 in store. And so the mystery is $30. So you also get this journaling card. These The rest is all extra, basically for free. Um, yeah, it talks about the movie theater kit. Um, yeah, so really cute. And then we have the 15 millimeter strip. The glitter headers and it has the mixed in gold. I love that. 
It almost makes me not want to put foil on it because it's already got the gold in there. We got the labels and then we get a, um, sometimes we get a whole wiggle, which has been most of the time recently. But look how amazing this is. It is gold stars. I don't know if I want to use it with this kit, you guys. I don't know. What? I told Andrea uh, after seeing this when it came in, because you know, I gotta look at everything before I haul it. But it's like, I, there was another kit I was thinking it looked good with, and I can't remember what I said anymore. Ugh. <laughs> I've, yeah, I'm sure if I look through my kits, I will find it. But this is a really fun, different wiggle um, format. I think it's a new format for this kind of foil. So you have like these bow, uh, yeah, these bow headers with the full background of foil and the white stamped whimsical bow, I think she's calling it, whimsy bow. Really cute little bouncy bow. And then you have the date covers, two sets of them. And I think by the time you see this poll, she's released something to do with date numbers for these. That's what she said on Facebook today that I read. But you could probably use other foils as well. But these are really, really pretty. Like, oh, look at it. Then you have a whole bunch of flags, which I do like these smaller flags. Obviously, they're not in the 2020 Erin Condren. Um, but I think they're the perfect size to actually have in your spread versus the bigger ones uh, for me personally. And then you have these cut out bows, amazing. And then you have the um, icon sheet. And I love how they ha have a white background. That's like my preferred kind of icon because I'm always whiting out the clear ones. <laughs> Cause I like having the white show through. So I'm happy with that. And then look at these um, bottom washi strips. <laughs> Amazing. It's pretty over the top. Um, I think I'd have to use this sparingly in my, for my thing. I don't like, I feel like I'm not as, like I love foil, but I don't know if I want it so much in my spreads. I mean, it'll still look really cute with this. You know, like the movies, but I feel like there's other kits it would look good with. I'm gonna have a quick have a look and show you because she probably will sell leftovers of these. Obviously, the Christmas spreads. I feel like it would look good with. It could even look cute like this Rapunzel kit, like the Disney ones. I don't know. I don't know, you guys, but it's really really pretty, and I love it. And I can't wait for January to come in because I also love January. <laughs> um, I already know. I know. Just that one. I know. Yeah, that was the December mystery and everything that I got from Scribble Prints Co. And that is everything for this haul. I'm sorry it's not as jam-packed as usual today, especially for a Christmas Day haul. But I've just been really, I've been a good girl, you know. And that's why Santa is going to bless me. Because, and you, because tomorrow is even a bigger, bigger haul kind of video. It will be my Advent unboxing. So my plan was to start advent on the 14th of December. Um, I have four advent calendars. I think two of them are gonna be late, but I'm gonna open them up on one of those days. But every day I'm gonna sit down with you guys, with the camera on in the morning, with my coffee, and I'm gonna open my advents with you. Um, obviously not live, um, but I'm gonna keep all those sections of film and I'm gonna put them together in a big old video that's coming out tomorrow so don't forget to like and subscribe so you can go and see that tomorrow all the wonderful goodies from my advent calendars we have SBC, we have sadie stickers so just a butt ton of foil and then we have hello petite paper and villa beautiful and her gorgeous pens and like it's a whole planner kit i think but yes so that's coming tomorrow another big old haul basically Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas day, whether you celebrate or not. I hope you just have a wonderful day full of joy and love and good food. And I hope you have a wonderful week and the rest of the year. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!